I just filmed a tutorial on this. It is green and brown kind of folly colors, I guess. Maybe not the green, it's just something I threw together. Um, yeah, I hope you guys like this and I will get on to the tutorial. So as always, I'm priming my eyes with Max Painterly Paint Pot and this is just going to keep my eyeshadow on all day and make it a little bit brighter. I'm taking this color tattoo eyeshadow in mossy green. This is one of the limited edition fall ones. And I'm just patting that on my lid and blending it out up into my crease to create a base for my eyeshadow so it'll stick even better. No matter what happens, we'll all stay together. I'm taking a Glamour Doll Eyes eyeshadow in Oddity. It's kind of like a lemony green color. Um, I like it a lot and I'm placing it on the lid, kind of blending it out a little bit but not too much because I'm just going to place the crease color in there anyway. And I'm adding this to the lower lash line as well, kind of focusing more towards the middle. Then I'm taking Dazzle Me from Glamour Doll Eyes, it's just a light brown, and I'm using it to blend the green color out into the crease and make it a little bit easier to blend out the darker color when I do add it. On a tapered blending brush, I'm taking Chocoholic from Glamour Doll Eyes and I'm adding it to my outer corner and my crease. I lost a little bit of the intensity of the green. I'm taking Foil Me from Glamour Doll Eyes and just patting it over where the green is and I'm adding another layer of Oddity and this is just going to make it super vibrant and fix any intensity that we lost from blending the brown in. For my inner corner and my highlight, I'm using October 30th from Glamour Doll Eyes. I believe this is limited edition. It's from the Halloween collection last year, but it's a really nice shimmery yellow color. And I'm adding that to my brow bone and my inner corner. I'm tight lining my top lid with Urban Decay Zero. And as you can see, mine is pretty much gone. And I'm using Whiskey on my lower waterline. usual winged liner with a max black track fluid line and nothing special I do this all the time winged liner takes a lot of practice you will not be getting it perfect the first time but I do suggest using a gel liner because that's what makes it easiest to get a straight line liquid can be a little tricky no matter what happens we'll all stay together my lashes and applying mascara and I also applied false lashes I use the red cherry 213 so that is the whole thing I hope you guys like this and I will talk to you later